guys, so today I'm in Liverpool and I feel like I missed the last night, hence the bags on my eyes. So um, I had to go to the bathroom to get changed because I was going somewhere this morning before here and I still had my pyjamas on, so well not all the jams like were like loungewear. So I had to go to the bathroom to get changed for this t-shirt proper pants anyway but oh my god okay so something happened when i was in the toilet small bathroom so it was like really early in the morning it's like nine in the morning right now um, i arrived here super early and so i went into the bathroom i don't think the bathroom was open but i didn't realize like no one told me so i just like walked in and got changed in the bathroom and i walked out to realize that the automatic doors were closed so do like close and once open so i was like practically trapped well i thought i thought I was trapped in this like foyer bit and there's like person on the other end of the door who was like one of the toilet persons he's like oh someone's coming out to get it now and i had to wait there for like five minutes so i like basically trapped in this like foyer bit but eventually this person came out and opened the door with his key for whatever so um, basically i was trapped in a bathroom for um a good five minutes so yeah i don't think it was like open but i think it's like walked in and like no one like stopped me or anything so walked in and just like got changed to this anyway but there's a new m&s store that's opened um recently in liverpool so i thought i'd go and take a look at that now it's meant to be like huge and really good as well so and um, i don't really go into m&s often like marks and spencer's just it really isn't sort of i don't go in there every day like i'm, I'm more of a primark kind of person but marks and spencer's is quite nice i'm gonna take a look in there now Good, but I'm, I'm kind of exploring today because I feel like when I go to Liverpool I don't really explore that often like just go to like one place and that's about it like Liverpool 1 and like Albert Dock and stuff but there's like many other things such as like Chinatown which is down the road from where I'm walking now and there's also like other things as well so there's a Baltic market which I've been once actually it tastes pretty nice but it's basically like a huge like, dinner hall with like a load of like food and pizzas and a lot of it out but um yeah been once so it's actually really good but uh, there's also other things to as well so um yeah just thought how a bit of an explore um yes yeah, so i'm approaching to chinatown right now which um is very interesting <laughs> Like Chinese supermarket, which uh, was a random find because I didn't know it was like actually here. Um, but like things like spring rolls and sauces and stuff, which they look really good actually, and um, like oils and all kinds of things actually. Okay, that Chinese supermarket was pretty good. I love all the food. Like, I love Chinese food so much. I love noodles, I love corn crackers. I love everything about Chinese food. Like, I wish I could have gone and like bought the entire supermarket out. Like, it, the all the foods looked so good. I want to eat them so bad. I want to eat the noodles and crisps, and they had like Lay's crisps as well, which I remember from being abroad. They were the best tasting crisp ever. Um, so anyway, um, I'm gonna do some more exploring now, some more shopping.
Uh, I'm back from the thoughts a few hours later now, but I had to sleep just as soon as I came home, so that's very bad. But anyway, I just ordered like some like milk and cereal and crumpets off of Uber because I need some like milk, but I'm coming off to go to the store, so I thought I'll order an Uber. So I ordered it, got some milk and crumpets, but the delivery driver was like the nicest, so he came to like mine. And usually, the delivery drivers are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was like really nice. He was like, oh hi, Jerry made us like orders here, like really nice about it. And he even sent me a message as well. Um, what, what is it? No, because he literally sent me a like, really nice message, but it's not on here now. But anyway, he said something like, oh, have a nice um, sunny week, something like that. So I thought that was really nice. But anyway, um, I got some milk and crumpets, so I'm going to make some cereal now. Um, we need to also edit it as well. Um, edit a vlog. And um, yeah, I'm very tired. <laughs> 